Hi everybody, welcome to the Launchbox video tutorial. Uh, this one we're doing on something with the Switch. Uh, I found over this last couple of days I've been in my spare time messing around with bits and pieces on the Switch to find out ways to get it to... Sometimes you find with these games you put them in and they don't work and I think uh, we've found a way to stop that happening now. So here we go, get on with it then. So first thing you need to do is download uh, on your internet uh, via Google, Torrent Science, etc. Uh, two emulators. First of all, you need to get the Yuzu, get it installed. You'll need Yuzu necessities, and that will be Yuzu. So once you've got that, extract it. All you'll get will look like this. There you go. And that's Yuzu. That's what you're starting out with. That one. That's what you'll install into LaunchBox. So, and the second one you'll need because you'll need some of these bits and pieces that you see on the screen here, maintenance tool. Uh, I can't tell you where to get any of this stuff, obviously, but we'll get into trouble. So yeah, obviously you'll just need some of that there. Uh, right, fair enough, fair enough. What we'll do is crack on. So I can't pronounce this name of this. The second one you'll need is this. Rejinx uh, Switch Emulator. So and once you've extracted that, you will end up with a folder like that. All you need to do is click on there and click on there, and that's the emulator happening. I've changed one or two things. Obviously, change the uh, GI menus and you know remove the console version hanging around at the back of it. Uh, the second thing is obviously you need to configure your controllers. So that's done at settings, input. There you go. And the best way to do this to make this work better is click game directories and add where your switch games are you know where you've put in your switch games uh, right system there we go obviously graphics that's the most important thing if you've got a great graphics card now we're talking something like a uh, an nvidia uh 1660 oc and upwards uh then you're looking at and that's also applies to the amd equivalent you need to make sure you're in vulcan OpenGL will work with your DirectX, but it won't give you anywhere near as, as many games working. So, because the, the switch is very demanding for the power. So, select there. I've got a RX 360 NVIDIA uh, from MSI. Uh, great graphics card, costs around about 500, 600 quid. Uh, yeah, so I've left it on native, and I've just left it as that. I haven't really changed anything there apart from the graphics card. Because uh, you don't really want it to be on OpenGL, because you just will not get the 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 game to work well, if it works at all. Right, move on and upwards. Next thing you know, we're going to go to the launch box. So let's close that down. Uh, obviously, you've already set it up in your emulators. For me, as I did, is renamed it Nintendo Switch, and there's the folder with them unextracted. Uh, second thing you need to do is end games. For wherever you're keeping them, I keep mine in, in a set, on a separate hard drive, external. Uh, it's only a two and a half inch one. Uh, right, switch, that's what I created. And um, there's folder, there's some of the games I've got in there. I do have an awful lot more, but I've not integrated them in yet. Uh, right. So that moves us on to Launchbox now. So, Launchbox, we'll just minimize this for a second. And we'll open Launchbox. Right, so first of all, how you're going to do this is, you know how to do this, you've probably seen enough videos on how to make an emulator go, so click on emulators, if you need to, click add, and say, I mean, I'll use Nintendo Switch, <coughs> excuse me, uh, <coughs> I've got both of them in there, as you can see, so I'll just click on it, Yuzu, edit, just type in Yuzu, Find your path where it is. You know where you're keeping it, or you know your emulators. Uh, default, you can make it default if you like. Nintendo Switch, type in there. Uh, and once you've done that, click OK. I'll click Cancel, and then close. And now you will have the Reju re one. There it is. There. Do the same thing again. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right. So next thing you know, once you've finished all putting that in. Add your ROMs as you normally would with the tools, import ROMs, 
and just select them off from there. And all you do is ROM, add, add ROM files, or if you want to do it singly, uh, use that one. If you want to do the folder, that one. And just follow it through. You don't need to change anything else in there. Alright, so other this now what will happen is you'll make one of these your default emulator so not all the games will work because what I found works with one doesn't work with the other and etc etc so what you need to do say pick a game like uh, FIFA FIFA for example FIFA 23 right doesn't work with Yuzu uh, and if you've set Yuzu as your default what you need to do is click on it, right click, edit, metadata, media, and scroll down to emulation there. And that's where you can change the emulator individually for each one. Once you've done it, click OK. This will be a trial and error process. So you can get YouTube, uh, Switch games working. Because you will find that will work with Yuzu. But that one won't work with uh, Riju. So, yeah, I mean, I, I forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But you can see what it was on the screen. So I'll set the game up loading. And I won't quit it. I won't get them too involved. So, as you can tell, default, as you saw on mine, was Yuzu. But FIFA doesn't work on Yuzu very well for some reason. But it does perfectly with the Riju. So it's just a strange loading thing, it just comes up a bit slow.